Okay, it's time for the last glorious episode for the moment of Christmas at Deep Roots, um, as they played the Goblins in a stunty off in the last game of the season. Uh, yeah, congratulations to El Hombre, who has uh, won this season pretty convincingly with his returning uh, Dark Elf champions. Um, but the the Dark Elf, the uh, Halflings have had quite a fun time. Um, so let's see if this is a satisfying and fitting end to it. Um, I spent 100k of my of my pile of cash to get a um, to get a chef, and that gave him a card. Um, so let's see how it goes. Um, so yeah, he took a dirty tricks card and got some kicking boots, which he used um, straight away. And then I rolled a blitz. Yeah, the blitz didn't do very much um, because I failed the throw. And so then I, <laughs> yes, yeah, so then uh, being a super pro, I went to blitz his ball and chain, thinking I'm a dream man. I'm really strong. I'll take out his ball and chain. Um, uh, yeah, I forgot that his ball and chain was actually stronger than me. So yeah, got away with that one with a both down and a push. Um, and I've got block, so no problems there. And he didn't want to choose the both down anyway. So yeah, this is a uh, tree's got block now. The other tree's just got grab. What else have I got? And I've got a strength three halfling, and I've got a strength one block halfling who I'm keeping because it's fun. Uh, so yes, um, yeah. So one, one, two players off the pitch in the first uh, first turn. Chainsaw fails on the tree, which is good news. Yeah, tree man. Uh, chainsaw is always really tempting to hit a tree man with because it's like fun, um, but it's obviously not very effective. Um, here goes the goblin throw and fails. So Goblin goes down, turn over. Um, yeah, he's only got one, he only had one reroll. And that was that one reroll. Uh, did he use the reroll on the throw? Yes, yeah, so that's that's gone now. Um, yeah, obviously Master Chef is brilliant and against Goblins. They do need their reroll sometimes because they can go horribly wrong. So, um, just here comes the block halfling to take out the Goblin. And then he picks up the ball. Um, successfully, happy days. Um, Let's fast forward a bit. So yeah, he's got the ball. Um, so less concerned about the throw teammate now. So bringing more players into play. Um, failing the dodge. Here comes the here comes the fanatic. Uh, that's three moves and the fourth move, sadly for the fanatic, which um, Grom forgot about, uh, was a go for it and he failed. So he went down. No rerolls. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, ran off into the distance um, and did some punching and strength three. Halfling coming through there. Sadly, he managed to knock my guy down, but didn't hurt him. Um, and then he threw a goblin forwards. Um, and then he, <laughs> this was quite stylish. So he took a player over here, picked up the ball, and then fouled my guy and got sent off and dropped the ball. <laughs> it was excellent goblin style play, really. Um, so that was quite cool fun. Um, yeah, and now um, I'm just getting, I've got a numbers advantage, which is always nice with halflings. So just trying to get the ball, basically over the next few turns. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of roots there. Uh, he's got the ball and a pow there. Yeah, a few players down now. Still not managing to get the ball, but neither see, so that's all right. Got the ball, hooray! Yeah, got the ball in turn, In got the ball basically in time to score for turn seven, which is quite cool because um, he didn't have any bribes. Um, and so he had to bring his secret weapons on for just one turn, which is always horrible as a goblin player, but satisfying when you're playing against goblins. Um, now he set up, uh, sort of by mistake, trolls by themselves, um, and then said, oh no, I made a mistake, I can't score now. Um, but I did point out to him that he could um, he could hand off to this guy and then and then throw, because um, you can throw, you can move as a troll and then throw the ball. So yeah, effective a bomb there, takes out this guy. Um, which means the troll could just wander over and throw the ball. So let's see if that works. Um, yes, yeah, so that was me advising on the rules. Um, so yeah, he got rid of someone there, and then the troll comes over, picks up the goblin, and chucks him forward. Whee! Lovely the sound effect. And he lands. Marvellous. Seven squares away. Needed to go for it. Makes it. Hurrah! Cool. He's setting up with eight now, I think he's on. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he's on nine players. Um, but yeah, he's getting getting beaten up a bit. Obviously setting up for the throw teammate there. High kick always helps. Um, chap goes under the ball. Catches it. Um, I've got two rerolls on this one. Um, yeah, not the burst best setup because he has to go for it to get the handoff. Let's take down this troll. One, two, three, four, five. Go for it. Hand off the ball. Tree doesn't root, steps forward, 
throws. Excellent throw, well done, because it means he can... So there would have been the only spot better, but he makes the dodge. Walks it in, go for it. Go for it. Score! Yeah, quite exciting because I need the reroll for the uh, for the thing, for the uh, landing. So yeah, going in at 2-1 up and receiving. Uh, what's he got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 players he's got. Must have had 10 last time. Um, perfect D, he's mildly irritating. Yeah, he moves loads of players around. Um, yeah, if his players start to leave the pitch at this stage. <laughs> Yeah, troll off the pitch. He's, yeah, he's in a horrible position now. Got the ball. And then just a one dice on the pogo. I get some over there. So playing without any rerolls now, I think he is. Um, which always makes life a bit tricky. Pogo leaves the pitch. Um, surf another one. And just moving, moving forward. Try to foul him off. Going for a pitch clearance, really, just a nice way to finish the uh, finish the season. Um, get a player there and go for the handoff to speed up the score. So he's in scoring range for next term. Just fine. Next term. Next time. Next turn. Um, yeah, a bit of goblin punching first. Managed to remove one, not that one, and score. Fantastic. So he's down to not very many players now. He's a horrible, horrible KO rolls. He's only got five players at this stage. Now this is quite annoying because I declared a, a pass action with the three man instead of a throw teammate action, and so wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to score with him this turn because obviously he could have got just got the one turner straight away, but f failed with that one. Sadly, a uh, quick foul there. Another player off the pitch. Happy days. Uh, he manages to get the ball. Um, I'm not sure what he was doing here. So he, so he. What even happened? I missed this completely. I thought it was like an interception or something, but in fact he passed the ball to him and it scattered onto my guy who caught it. Uh, so it wasn't an interception. Oh, I didn't get any star player points for the interception, sadly. Um, yeah, knock a player down there and then I'm just going to knock this guy out of the way so that I can hand off to, to my scoring threat chappy down here. Which is quite cool. Bring in some halflings. Just to, just to join the fun, really. Hand off. And then I think it's one go for it for the score. Score! Hooray! 4-1. <laughs> Great stuff, Halflings. Here we go. Now he's only got three players left, and I'll just put them on the line, which isn't as good as it could have been, because he got a quick snap. Um, I'd have taken these two players back as well to go for the throw teammate, but he just took this one back. Um, and then um, picks up the ball, and this is quite entertaining. So let's see what happens. He's going to hand off, um, and he's going to drop it and give it to me. <laughs> So it caught the ball there, which is pretty cool. Very obliging of him. Um, See, so yeah, I punch out the troll, and then uh, six and players. Basically, this guy's in scoring range for when the throw teammate fails. I'm not sure there's any advantage to the throw teammate actually. I'm thinking about it. Duh. Um, after the event, well, I suppose I could have scored in one turn rather than two, uh, but he rooted anyway. Um, so wasn't able to score. He rooted with a reroll. So the much more sensible thing to do would have been to free up. The player and then just run him down, but um, that's not the halfling way, is it? Um, yeah, knock that goblin down, pick up the ball, hand off, two go for it for the score, makes it for the 5 1, which is a glorious finish to the season. And nothing very much happens here, I don't think. He's going for the throw teammate and fails. Cool. Uh, yeah, got 60k um, and got a load of skills, um, so I thought just to just to finish off the season, I would um, just head over to, um, I should have done this earlier actually, but there we go. Um, so just going to head over to um, can I do this? I'm not sure I can. Uh, no, just going to um, nope, didn't want that at all. Get rid of him. Right, I'm just going to head over to... I'll have to do it without showing it. So, first skill on Chipolata the Halfling. Just gets a normal skill. Uh, boring. Uh, pudding. Pudding the Halfling. What does he get? He gets a plus agility! We've got a plus agility Halfling here! And finally, we have a normal skill on the other guy. But yes, plus agility on Mr. Pudding. So yeah, very tempted to take these guys for the next season. So, further adventures of Christmas at Deep Roots. Watch this space, but there will be probably a slight pause before the season starts again. Who knows? Uh, if you want to join the season, and you're Swindon-based, because um, we're trying to keep it, keep it local, um, then um, give us a bell. Thank you all.